Hey guys, welcome for this uh, new video. I got a question on the last video about uh, the dash cam uh, inside uh, the Land Defender uh, Defender. So um, yes, I have put uh, a dash cam installed by uh, a very professional guy. Uh, why I have installed uh, a dash cam that's the first time I never did it before but now uh, things have really changed when you drive most of the people they not be having uh, well on the road so uh, that could end up like a nightmare with uh, some uh, some stupid people if I can say that so um, uh, installing the dash cam in that car uh, it's just um, like uh, protecting myself uh, and uh, if um, if something's happen I'll be glad to have the video recorded and um, if there's anything to say or prove uh, we can just uh, extract the video from the dash cam and show it to uh, uh, whatever could be authorities or my insurance uh, uh, how um, how I have installed that dash that, that dash cam uh, sorry if I'm not um, saying everything's like uh, with a nice flow like professional youtuber but um, I gone to um, internet and try to uh, look uh, what will be the best one to fit to this car. And uh, I'm not trying to uh, tell you uh, to get the same as I get, but uh, after searching and looking differences, um, I found that uh, the Black View, uh, it's a good one. Uh, there's a lot of option like um, the 4K uh, you can put a lot of um, uh, memories um, you can extract the SD card you can connect um, the dash cam to your phone you can extract everything from the dash cam straight to your phone uh, there's a lot of things there a lot of features like um, uh, when uh, your car uh, staying in a car park there's that the parking um, option that record things that they go just in front uh, of the camera or the rear camera so um, this is great because you can just protect your car uh, in case of someone uh, do some things like uh, you go to the supermarket you have seen that before they with that uh, metallic cart, they just uh, so they just say that they turning to the uh, parking mode. So, um, as I said, uh, you go to the supermarket and uh, stupid guy uh, just not taking care about his uh, sh shopping cart, like the metallic one that you push, and suddenly he uh, that will uh, hit your car and. Uh, make um, uh, a dent on your car so um, yeah that black view uh, has uh, a lot of features that could just um, help you to uh, uh, find out who uh, hit your car and uh, if you have any problem with someone on the road this is just on your uh, dash cam if something's happened say oh i have a dash cam and uh, if you want to argue with me let's call the police and we will uh, figure this out so uh, let's uh, make a quick tour about the dash cam installed i will comment some stuff uh, about that dash cam uh, i will not probably remember everything but if you guys have some question about it don't hesitate to uh, put it just uh, below uh, below the video and uh, let's go for a tour let me put my phone over there so here is the black view 
um, it's uh, uh, let me see if I can just zoom in I think it's possible let me check yeah it's possible to zoom here and there's the microphone so so this is the black view I don't remember which one is this but well probably if I zoom here but okay it's written black view cloud so yeah you can connect um, this to to the cloud and uh, and you can um, you can check uh, your car um, if, if uh, for example uh, you park your car um, I got on my uh, black view the module that it works with uh, the data so when my car it's parked I still have the option to look what's happening around the car even I am at home uh, that's a good thing because you can leave the car anywhere and you can just check from your phone what's happening around your car and they still send you a warning if something's happened so you can just watch in a real time what's happening um, with this so let's jump out the car From outside, it's just difficult to see, but let's get back to the car at the rear. And I okay, from here, you cannot see the dash cam, but this is the one staying at the rear. how the guys have installed um, that dash cam um, he put that part out and uh, he did uh, a lot of stuff uh, passing all cable through the car he removed um, most of the plastic here he did that uh, perfectly uh, the guy was working before at the um, Tesla factory so he, he he was knowing a lot about how to remove that uh, kind of plastic joint here you know um, and by the way that cable just pass this way gone this way go inside that things and if i remember that go somewhere like this and finally getting up uh, that go um, the, um, that straight line going just to the front of the car let's check so as I said um, he did uh, the things uh, going here uh, going here uh, and here too but he did a very nice job and um, so the rest of the things go to this place and um, he managed to um, remove that part here uh, it's very special to remove he did that uh, perfectly nicely uh, if I remember he get that things up yeah lift up and then pull um, uh, back uh, what else he managed to put the cable that go through um, the black view so we can see the black view from here let's check if I can zoom in
and um, the rest of the cable they are going uh, this way to that place and uh, when we open when we open this behind uh, behind that box we have the, the fuse box so um, he put that he put that down and uh, he managed to put all cable behind this um, he put like a, a fuse box um, especially for the black view he found a spot for it and let me see let me see I'm going to show you uh, where he put the rest of the things because with that black view I have um i have uh what's the name uh let's check this i don't know if i can yeah as you can see he put the battery um here underneath the seat as you can see there's a, a cable management um just uh, uh just put there uh nicely uh, let me check if I can just get my phone. I know it's not a professional one, but not easy. Let's put some more light. If I can put more light. So yeah, underneath the seat, there's the battery pack for the black view. So when I'm uh, putting the car on park, the black view taking uh, his juice from um, the battery pack. And I will show you on my uh, phone uh, how uh, the battery pack is charged. And by the way, I have the cloud module where you put your SIM for the data. So let's get back to the car. Let me just put that back. And I need to... So why I have the manual one? Uh, because if you get the electric one, the day when um, it breaks, you are stuck. Better to get the manual one, it's better. That's what I think personally. The electric one, the uh, electric seat one works great, but if it goes out of order, you'll be stuck. So I'm back to the car and I'm going to show you um, I'm going to show you uh, that uh, let me do that let's see so here you have the black view uh, battery I just click on it it's going to detect okay I found it so connected and it said um, the battery it's uh, charging yeah because I have um, put the, um, the um, how to tell that I have put the car on so that's why uh, now uh, the battery pack charging if I'm not going to use the car, it's going to be the opposite. I think it will it will be blue or green and saying that the battery is discharging. So the black view taking his juice from uh, that battery pack underneath the seat uh, passenger. And um, if you want to take a look about um, what's happening uh, with the car, um, Let's check this. You go there. Let me turn the uh, the Wi-Fi on. So taking some times.
connect it let's go to the black view connect and you go to live view and you can check the car front rear front playback so when i was outside they found out um, let's see if i can check one second parking probably here let's check so you can um, you can see uh, so what's happening so I lost the Wi-Fi that's why it's uh, it's turning so anyway um, let's see so anyway um, that black view is just uh, it's just like uh, a great uh, great things to uh, 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 to watch your car and um, see if uh, there are any problem or something like this and uh, it's just to protect yourself and make sure that uh, nothing's uh, like uh, people behaving bad with you uh, you will just get out look i have everything recorded here if there are some things let's uh talk about the video so hoping uh hoping that uh will probably uh, uh help you to uh, think if uh, a dash cam is good or not for you uh, some people think it's okay, some people think it's not, but uh, there's more and more people using dashcam right now. So thanks for watching and see you soon guys.